What is up YouTube? Chidori Chu here, back with another video under Ultra League Premier Classic. So today's video, we're going to be going over Liquid Ken's team. Uh, he made this team consisting of Triple Water. Triple Water is super, super strong in the meta. I was getting a lot of positive sets after I learned the team. Uh, first two sets, I went two and three. But then my next few sets, I went 4-1, 4-1, So once you get to know this team, it's very strong in the current meta right now. Polyrath in the lead is really strong. Uh, if you do see a fighter, you definitely want to stay in. But generally, you want Lapras as a safe swap to kind of bait out the fighters. Fighters generally in this cup are relatively squishy. So if you are able to get to two surfs, which is going to be really nice, you can definitely force a shield, come back in with um, Polyrath. And then you kind of um, have to wiggle your way around. Uh, the only really hard counter to this team is if somebody's running double fighter, which I did encounter in the first battle using this team. But this team uh, really is really strong against all those poison types roaming around, um, all those fire types running around. You definitely have a lot of play. Uh, all these Pokemon, all three of these are super bulky. Polyrath is going to be running Mudshot, Ice Punch, Dynamic Punch. You want to run Ice Punch kind of as a bait. You also need it against like Dragonite and Trevenant. Or else you're going to get completely walled by them. Uh, you definitely need Ice Shard, Lapras, Surf, and Skobash. Skobash for the Mirror Match. And Ice Shard is Legacy if you guys need to uh, use an Elite Fast TM. Or uh, definitely try to trade for one. I would say Lapras is very, very good in this cup. Uh, it's pretty nice to have Lapras back in this cup because Lapras was used in the early, uh, early days of Ultra League Premier. Um, but now that um, a lot of Pokemon um, have rised up, uh, a lot of people haven't seen much mileage under Lapras. So it's actually pretty nice to bring it back um, into this cup. Uh, this, this, uh, this Premier Classic cup is really refreshing. You're able to use Polyrath and uh, Lapras again, and they're very relevant, very strong in this cup. I want to say this meta is very, uh, very balanced with um, no XLs and no legendaries, which is really nice. And then lastly, we have Empoleon with Community, community Move um, Hydro Cannon, uh, Fast Move Waterfall, and then Drill Pack. This has a lot of coverage. If you're able to manage his energy really well, you can definitely take out fighters. Uh, and pulling on is super strong in his meta. So like I said, fighters in the back can be hard for this team, but you definitely want to use Lapras as a safe swap to kind of bait it out. Lapras is super bulky. You can definitely get to a surf or you can, uh, you can, your main objective is trying to force a shield when they switch out to their fighters. Um, at the time of this video, I am uh, I am filming this on Halloween, so I hope you guys are having a happy Halloween if you guys are celebrating it. Uh, fortunately, I am working, so I am not going to be able to do any cosplays or anything, but I will be wearing an anime hoodie uh, into work today, so that'll be fun, that'll be fun. Uh, so let's get into the battles, shall we? Uh, so these these battles are taken in the 2800 elo. I did climb all the way to like 2960 or something. All right, so beginning lead is going to be Obstagoon. Obstagoon is really, really uh, strong against my backline, so it's nice to see it up front here. Uh, we're going to throw Dynamic Punch right away. Uh, Dynamic Punch will one-hit Obstagoon. Or being the dark and normal typing. And for some reason, he takes it. Okay. Nope. Okay. Uh, Nettle Queen here. Okay, we're going to throw an Ice Punch right away. Maybe they think uh, I'm running Scout. Because uh, the movesets on PV Poke does say run Scout. Okay. Ice Punch. And then we're going to dip into Lapras as a safe swap in case he has any other fighters he wants to bring out. He is bringing a Lola Muck. So this is already a wrap. Because we have Empoleon 2 for the Muck. Even though this is Poison Jab, Lapras is super bulky. Lapras can handle all these um, moves. Uh, my Polygraph and my Lapras are lucky. So if you guys are thinking, oh, I need really good IVs for uh, my Polygraph, my Lapras, um, you really don't need it. Um, I I ran this team fine without luckies uh, throughout my whole Ultra League career, I guess. Um, but if you guys are building good one, wanting to build build good ones, I do recommend it. 
Um, I I just went with these because they're lucky and they're cheap. Uh, my Polyon is like 88% uh, IVs. It's not the best ideal one, but um, it, it is not, it is not bad. Um, sorry, that's my work alarm. Uh, it's 3 p.m. right now. But yeah, um, triple water, triple water, really strong for this meta. Uh, there there are still tons of poison types roaming around the meta. Uh, so I'm gonna come back in here with Polyrath. Uh, Polyrath can pretty much wrap up everything here if I want to, but I'm just gonna play it safe. I'm gonna save the two shields here from Polyon. Uh, if you guys are celebrating Halloween, let me know. Uh, let me know what you guys are gonna be dressing up as, or what kind of favorite candy you guys have. Um, for me, I like gummy candies, uh, like Sour Patch Kids or what you call it? Our Kit Kats, Kit Kats. Uh, so definitely, let let me know what kind of candies you guys are into. What kind of snacks? Uh, what kind of hunts you guys are doing? Not not Pokemon Go shiny hunts, but candy hunts when you guys are trick or treating. Uh, so we're just gonna waterfall down right here. Um, and my opponent top left because he knows he can't do much from here. So GG's to my opponent. Uh, let's see here. Yeah, just go into my next battle here. Okay. Okay, next battle here, guys. These uh these battles are taken directly from my stream. So Kingdra lead. If you guys um are interested in watching me battle live, um I'll definitely link my Twitch below. I always stream Wednesday, Thursday, Fridays, and sometimes on weekends. So I do safe swap into my Lapras here. Uh, I am going to shield. I do correctly call the Outrage. Uh, this was a really weird matchup. I wasn't really... Sh I was still kind of new to the team, but uh, I figured Lapras was a good safe swap to draw anything. Uh, so I do go for a Skull Bash. It does get shielded. Uh, these Dragon Breaths are adding up, but I am boosted defense. And um, he is going to go for another Outrage, I believe. Um, I believe I just shield this up. So going down two shields is not very ideal because I don't know the back line. But I was thinking maybe he had another Dragon in the back, possibly Dragonite. Uh, so I throw Surf here, bait, uh, which is good because I am able to get to my Skobash now and win this matchup. I, I thought he was going to switch out, but apparently he's just staying in. He was probably really close to another charge move. So we do win switch. Uh, not, we do win our matchup here. Not switch, but uh, fortunately this is going to be Muck here. I'm going to be able to get to my Surf, which is really nice here. And I believe I dip out so he doesn't get too much farm. Uh, Surf is going to do pretty good damage, but Muck is super bulky. No, actually, I just let this go. Okay. Um, so Thunder Punches are going to hurt anything in my lineup. So I do have to be aware of that, but both my Pokemon here are relatively pretty bulky. I come in with Polygraph because the Mud Shots are going to add up, and I could possibly uh, Ice Punch the Muck. Uh, he did farm up a lot of energy on my Lapras, which is unfortunate. Uh, he's going to be able to get off two Thunder Punches, but we're able to take these pretty comfortably. So I did over farm a little bit just in case he decides to catch. I'm going to throw Ice Punch here, and I believe I switch into Empoleon here. Uh, I thought I would do a little bit more. Okay, so this is a Shadow Snorlax. Shadow Snorlax is going to do so much damage with those licks. Um, he is throwing immediately here, his superpower. Uh, I thought I was going to win this matchup because um, usually when they throw the superpower first, um, you do a lot of damage and you kind of have the upper hand once they throw the superpower, but they threw immediately thinking they can KO my Empoleon. But unfortunately, um, he is going to be able to farm down my Empoleon with licks. Um, I needed to sneak in one extra. I need to sneak in one extra waterfall worth of damage, and then I would have been able to farm up with mud shots there, and then uh, throw a, an ice punch to KO the muck there. 
but very well played to my opponent. He managed to um, have good energy management on the Snorlax there and able to take out my Empoleon and my Polyrath there. Uh, so we go into our next battle here. Hopefully you guys are all having a good weekend here. Um, I, uh, if you guys have noticed, um, I did I did have a lot of uh, issues um, over the weekend, um, over my my weekend I guess, because I I am off Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Uh, I had uh, the flat tire, um, so I am getting dropped off to work today. Um, but I will probably get my car back tomorrow, hopefully. If you guys, uh, if you guys saw the vid uh, tweets that I've done, uh, it looked like somebody slashed my tires, but it wasn't. Um, so my car is electric car. Uh, I did not know that electric cars have uh, special tires they needed, so that's why it's taking a little bit longer to get to uh, my repair for my tire. Uh, but hopefully Goodyear will have my tire tomorrow, uh, and then I will be able to drive again. So that's something I look forward to, I guess, because I, I haven't had a car in a while, guys. Um, it's nice and all, not be, not being not having to go out. Um, but you know, I kind of miss going out too. Uh, not locked in, you know. We did we did walk for food yesterday, <laughs> uh, and grocery shopping. It's it's quite a lot of work. You need a car around here in the suburban life. Uh, so back to the battles. We we were able to farm down the the Nidoqueen Queen nicely. Uh, Lapras is super strong against the poison types. Uh, because most people are running Crobat and Lapras nowadays. Um, or no, Crobat and Nidoqueen, sorry. Um, and Lapras handles those poison types just fine. Uh, because the Ice Shards do hurt Crobat quite a lot and um, Nidoqueen's Earth typing. Uh, so we, we're able to... We're able to handle poison types just fine with this triple water team. Dynamic punch, okay, that's fine. I did build up to um I did build up to Skull Bash to force him to throw. I could have shielded and uh throw a Skull Bash, but I didn't want him to farm me up from there. So I do survive this dynamic punch, I believe if it is. Um I just shield up just in case. Because my Empoleon doesn't want to see uh Polyrath. I'm gonna throw a dynamic punch here, see if he wants to let it go, because Polygraph is relatively low HP here. Okay, he decides to shield, which is fine. Uh, I decided to throw Ice Punch here, because he is relatively low. If he wants to commit to another shield, he could. Uh, maybe he wasn't counting correctly as well, because Mud Shots are pretty hard to count. So, he does survive the Ice Punch. This is fine, this is fine. Uh, I'm gonna let this go. And then just come in and farm up with Empoleon. But he's decided to dip out into Crobat uh, right away, which is fine. Empoleon can handle Crobat just fine. Those air slashes are gonna get resisted. Waterfall and Hydro Cannon's gonna put on a lot of pressure on this Crobat here. He's shielded right away. Empoleon can tank a Shadow Ball, so really the, the lose con is if I shield the Poison Fang and then a Shadow Ball lands, I believe. But I should be able to get to two Hydro Cannons easy here. He does go for Poison Fang, which is fine. I shield up just in case. I'm gonna throw a uh, Hydro Cannon here and KO the Crobat. I still want to build a Crobat, honestly, guys. Uh, Crobat is very fun in this league. Crobat uh, is super strong. I just haven't decided to make the shadow one yet or the regular one. Uh, I do have one for shadow relatively pretty good. Uh, I do think a lot of people do prefer the regular one for bulk because bulk is very important in Ultra League. So GG's to my opponent. We are going into our next match here, guys. Hopefully you guys um, are going to be participating in Go Battle Day tomorrow. Uh, I won't be, unfortunately. I have work on uh, 20 battles is quite long actually and I'm pretty high elo not like super super high in leaderboard status but this is a pretty high elo to get um, kind of hung up on queue times so I'm not gonna be participating I might do like five five to ten battles but I'm not gonna go hardcore on it 
Unfortunately, I won't be able to stream uh, Go Battle Day. I wish I was able to, but I think the next one, November 20th, I should be off. So I may be streaming that. Okay, so we have our next battle here, guys. Okay, Polyrath into Schizor. Okay, so this is a very interesting matchup. I've actually never faced a Schizor in uh, Ultra League Premier Classic just quite yet. So I wasn't really sure what to do there, but they were able to catch the Dynamic Punch, which is super, uh, super nice of them, I guess. Super bad for me. Uh, super nice catch on their part. I'm going to dip into Lapras here. These Ice Shards are going to chunk at Trevenant. Unfortunately, um, I did farm up one extra energy, but the opponent was really nice uh, to kind of like gut feeling dip. I do shield up here because I don't want my Lapras to go down with all that energy. So Seed Bomb probably would have taken us out. Or put, it, put us really, really close and then he would have uh, shielded and then farm us down with tons of energy. So I throw a Surf here. One more Ice Shard will KO the Trevenant, which is nice. So we do win secondary matchup switch here. In comes a Shadow Machamp. So this thing is very scary for my team right now. And I am down one shield. So not, not, too, not looking too great here. Unfortunately, I should have farmed up maybe one more Ice Shard so I can get two Surfs off on this Machamp. But I'm going to have to come in with Polyrath. Polyrath is super bulky, so he is the best choice here. But the Shadow Machamp is going to do a lot of damage here. I do shield up here because I don't want Empoleon to see the Shadow Machamp. But shielding up also shows you are weak to it in the back. So I wasn't really, really too happy about shielding the cross chop here. He gets off a cross drop here, which is not nice. I'm just going to go straight dynamic punch here. Okay, so his shield does go off. Ah, uh, he is going to snipe me. This is going to be a night slash here. I'm going to dip out immediately into Empoleon. So Empoleon's going to resist all these bullet punches, which is really nice. But the Night Slashes are going to hurt. I'm praying he doesn't get a boost here. If he does get a boost, it's going to make things a lot more trickier. Because a boosted Night Slash will kill Empoleon. But I can definitely live a second Night Slash from this range. So luckily, the first Night Slash did not get a boost. And this is uh, the next Night Slash here. I have to aggressively farm down with Waterfalls here. That's my only play. So I am able to aggressively farm down with Waterfall here. And I'm able to pull off this Drill Peck. This should KO the Shadow Machamp from this range. Oh, the Shadow Machamp lives by 1 HP, but luckily I have enough HP to do one more Waterfall. GG's to my opponent. So it got a little bit scary there. It did get a little scary there. So if he was able to... If he was able to knock me out, he probably would have been able to counter down... Um, my polyrath in the back as well because my polyrath was really low after the shadow night slash uh, let's see here okay here comes our next battle here guys so polyrath into magnezone magnezone is really scary for this team as you can see it's triple water so magnezone can potentially sweep this team if played right because those wild charges are going to hurt my whole team. I decided to shield the first one. Uh, I got a little scared. But uh, Polyrath is bulky. He would have been able to survive. Uh, in comes Trevenant. But Tre I have so much energy loaded onto my Polyrath. And I am running Ice Punch. So I do throw one Ice Punch there. And then dip into my Lapras here. I do a really ballsy play here. Um... I take the first one, I believe. But then I fork over my second shield. Because I don't I wanna aggressively farm this Trevenant down and have a bunch of energy loaded for the Magnezone. 
So I do shield up this uh, the seed bomb because seed bomb will take us out and then we're going to be left with um, all this wasted energy. But instead, I figured I go down two shields versus this two shields. Eventually, I will get shields back with Lapras's energy. So waiting for him to decide what to come out with. He does come in with Gyarados. This is unfortunate because I did throw Surf. I kind of blind through just to be safe. But he does come back in with Magnezone for some reason. Um, he thought maybe my energy was dry, even though I farmed him all the way down with uh, Untrevenant. So I'm going to throw a second Surf here. Surf would do a lot of damage, but not KO the Magnezone. And then I'm going to do a combo play here. I'm going to dip into my Polygraph here. I'm going to throw a Dynamic Punch here. I accidentally threw one extra Mud Shot because I wasn't sure if I was at the move yet. Uh, uh, luckily, he didn't throw any charge moves. And in comes uh, Dragon Breath Gary, but we have this easy, guys. We have uh, Ice Punches here, and then we also have Empoleon with uh, Waterfall and Drill Packs to uh, ensure our victory here in this matchup. So b big mistake on my opponent's part. He was uh, he lost count of my energy and my Polygraph. Because his, uh, his Magnezone would have easily survived one Surf. The Dynamic Punch was more threatful than uh, the Surfs. I believe he wanted to shield up and then uh, spark down my Lapras with this play. So that was, um, that was a mistake on his part. I was able to um, throw three charge moves, getting rid of both shields with surfs, and then one dynamic punch onto the Magnezone, which took out the biggest threat to my team, which is nice. So GG's to my opponent. We were able to keep all three Pokemon alive and not reveal our Empoleon. So that's a, that's a nice win. All right, guys, that wraps up the video. If you guys like this team, definitely follow Liquid Ken on his social medias that I will be linking below. If you guys like this video, you know what to do. Hit the like, hit the follow button, and uh, definitely ding the notification bell for my next videos. Goodbye, YouTube. Peace out.